exam is tomorrow in this tutorial i'm going to solve eight problem and i'll randomly choose two problem for tomorrow's test the first problem find if the applied force is let's say five newton ten newton uh 39.2 newton and 40 newton you're gonna have to find a uh, force of normal force. We're gonna have to find force of friction. Okay, all right, good. So first thing first, you're gonna have to find the weight. So what would be the weight of the box? We're gonna use acceleration due to gravity then for it. So acceleration due to gravity would be 90, 98 in Newton. Fn will be also 98 Newton. Okay, so far so good. Now let's put new S is 0.4 and new K is 0.3. Okay, so let's see maximum possible friction. Maximum maximum possible friction would be F S max what mu s fn so mu s is i don't know mu s is 0.4 and fn is i don't know 98 so that is 39.2 all right now kinetic friction mu k fn and that will be 0.3 Okay, good. Normal force is 98 Newton. There is no upward force acting on this box. So normal force is 98 Newton. 98 Newton. 98 Newton. 98 Newton. Okay, force of friction. Okay, when the applied force is 5 Newton, force of friction is 5 Newton. When the applied force is 10 Newton, okay, Force of friction is 10 in Newton, okay? Because 10 is less than, 10 is less than 39.2. When applied force is 39.2, then force of friction is 39.2, okay? When applied force is 40 Newton, 40 is more than 39.2, so the kinetic friction takes over. So the friction is 29.4. Okay, net force is zero. Okay, why the net force is zero? Because applied force minus force of friction is zero. Applied force minus force of friction is zero. Applied force minus. All right, okay. So acceleration will be zero, acceleration will be zero, acceleration will be 1.06 meter per second squared. Okay, good. Second squared. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you, and that is the friction graph. So the friction graph will be applied force, force of friction. I'm going to have the static friction. I'm going to have the I'm going to have the kinetic friction. All right. So kinetic friction is just one value. So F K kinetic friction is just one value and that is 29.4 static friction is this is the static friction static friction is less than or equal to 39.2 and this is the maximum static friction and that would be Fs max and that is This was the problem number one. Now we're gonna do problem number two. Thirty degree angle. Mu k is mu s is point four, and mu k is point three. All right. So we're gonna try to find following things. All right. Apply force. F normal. F F. F net and then the acceleration. 
So let's find the weight first. The weight would be again F G is 98 Newton. The normal force would be tricky over here. There would be um, upward force. So to find the normal force, we have to be really careful. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna write uh, both component of the pulling force. So the x is 34.6, y is uh, 20, okay. fn, which would be 0.3 times uh, 78, 0.4, so this is 23.4. So the net force would be, so let's see net force, net force would be f net. Version would be F net power mass. So F net would be 11 by 2 mass is 10. 1, 2 meter per second square. And this is 11.2. Now let's do with the 30 Newton. So with the 30 Newton, we're going to do it here. We have lots of space over here. So, uh, so let's start from here. Uh, uh, I have FP, so FP would be uh, FPX, FPY, and that would be 30 cosine 30 degree, 30 sine 30 degree, 30 sine 30 degree is 50. Alright, so now the next thing we have to find is force of friction. Force of friction is mu K FN, so FN would be. So let's find the Fn. Fn would be Fg minus Fy. So Fg is 98 minus 15. All right, so this is 83. So 0.3 times 83, 4.9. Now we have to find F net. So F net is Fx minus Ff. Fx is 25.9 minus 24.9 which is 1 all right so now acceleration is f over m so 1 over m. all right so we're gonna fill it out now the 25 25 let's, let's use different color uh, 25.9 and then 15 and then 83 and then FF is 24.9, F net is 1, and this is 1. Alright, so let's say, let's consider a pulley, let's consider 2 mass, let's say this is 100 kilogram, and this is 200 kilogram. We want to find the acceleration. Okay, so let's say this is mass 1 and let's say this is mass 2, alright, so we're going to use M1 and M2, so we're going to put this one over here, what forces are acting on this one, so this is M1G and this is FT, let's put this one over here, this is M2G and this is FT. Let's make no mistake that this is heavier than this one, so this one is negative acceleration, this one is positive acceleration. Now we're gonna write Newton's second law f equal to m1a, but make no mistake, this is negative f equal to m2a, and make no mistake that this is positive. So, what are the f fg minus m2g is equal to m2a? So Fg is equal to M2G plus M2A. Alright, 
So what is this one? F, what are the F? F, G minus M1, G is equal to minus M1, A. And then I replace this F, G by this. So M2, G plus M2, A minus M1, G is equal to minus M1, A. So you're going to isolate the acceleration. That's our goal. We're going to isolate the acceleration, that's our goal. So how can I do that? So M2A plus M1A is equal to, uh, we're going to send the M1G to the other side, minus M2G. Acceleration is M1 plus M2, um, M1 plus M2, and G M1 minus M2. All right, so what is G? G is 10. Now we're going to do the inside the element of 100 kilogram. There are four scenarios 100 kilogram, 100 kilogram, and then 100 kilogram. There are four scenarios. And scenario, uh, scenario 1, acceleration is 0. Scenario 2, acceleration is positive 2. Scenario 3, acceleration is negative 2. Scenario 4, acceleration is negative 10. Okay, so we want to find a few things. We want to find the weight. So the weight would be the this one, this one, this one, and this one. The weight would be the same. What would be the 1000 newton? 1000 newton. the scale when you stand up in an elevator is scale with the normal force so we have to find the normal force so what is the normal force i'm going to put the arrow later the normal force would be equal in magnitude opposite in direction so normal force is 1000 newton why is that let's do the free body diagram so the free body diagram is right here so you have uh, normal force and you have fg so F equal MA. So let's do F MA. So F M minus F G is equal to MA. So F M is equal to M G plus MA. So F M is equal to M G plus A. Acceleration is zero. Why is that? Because this one. mg so m is um, 100 and g is 10 so therefore the normal force is 1000 newton okay good normal force is over here let's find the the free body diagram so this is fm this is fg all right so how can i do that f equal to ma mg because this is mg is equal to ma so fn is equal to mg plus ma so fn is equal to mg plus a okay so this one is just uh, fn is equal to mg plus a this one is fn is equal to mg minus this is g plus a and this is g minus a all right so then what is it fn is equal to m is 100 g is 10 plus 2 so fn is 200 so the fn is bigger than mg so fn is 200. so this one fn is m is 100 g is uh, 10 minus 2 so fn is 800 so this one fn is smaller so fn is this one, F -M is M G plus A, so M is 100, G is um, uh, negative 10, uh, G is uh, 
G is negative, uh, G is uh, G. So G is 10, next generation is negative 10. So 100 times 0. So F is 0 Newton. So there is no Fn. Okay, few other things you're going to find from here. Okay. So F is 0. Alright, so apparent weight loss apparent weight gain uh, weightless uh, same so this would be same this would be apparent weight to gain this would be apparent weight loss this would be weightless all right the another aspect This one is same. This one is heavier. This one is lighter. That's what you experience. And this one is weightless. All right, now we're gonna do um, two boxes. One is 12 kilogram. One is 10 kilogram attached by a rope and someone pull it up by 40 newton, no friction. No friction, I want to find the acceleration and then how can you find it? Again, call it mass 1, call it mass 2, mass 1, mass 2. So this one, what the force acting on it, Ft. And this one, what are the force acting on F P and then F F F T. Okay, so Newton's second law, F equal to M one A. So F T is equal to M one A. And Newton's second law, F equal to M two A. So F P minus F T is equal to M two A. All right, so F T is equal to M one A. Replace that by this. So M P minus M one A is equal to M two A. Okay, so we're gonna isolate A. So M P is equal to M one A plus M two A. Okay, so F P is equal to M acceleration M one plus M two. Okay, so what do you get? Acceleration is F P M one plus M two. Acceleration is forty. Another problem I'm going to give you tomorrow is probably not sure. Two mass connected by a pulley and a rope. This is five kilogram, this is two kilogram. Mu k is equal to find the acceleration. So again, call this one mass one, mass two, mass two, mass one, mass two. How many forces acting on it? F G F G F N F F forty nine uh, F N is forty nine mu K F N so forty nine times point two and um, that's it. So this one, how many forces acting on it? F G and F G. Alright, so now we're gonna do Newton's second law. F equal to M A. Let's call M one A. And let's be careful. This is negative, so my, this is minus A. Minus A. So F G minus M one G is minus M one A. Okay. Alright, so this is F equal to M two A. So Ft minus Ff M two A. Okay. So let's isolate this Ft. Ft will be M two A plus Ff. So replace this Ft over here. So M two A plus Ff minus M one G is minus M one A. So now what are you gonna get? 
m to a plus m one a is equal to minus m one plus m one g minus f f. So acceleration is m one plus m two is equal to m one g minus f f. All right. So what you get acceleration is uh, m one plus m two m one g minus f f. So acceleration is m one g is how much? M one g is two times so nineteen point six minus f f is nine point eight. All right, divided by seven. So acceleration is nine point eight divided by seven. Consider a mass, all right, on an incline, and this is 30 degree, and let's say you can to find an acceleration. Okay, so what are the gravitational component? There are two of them. This is F G perpendicular. This is F N. This is F F G parallel. So now FG has FG parallel, FG perpendicular. FG perpendicular is FN, FG parallel is MG sine 30, MG cosine 30. So we're gonna do F equal MA. Alright, so F net, all the forces acting on the Direction and the acceleration would be F G parallel minus F F is equal to M A. So F G parallel is M G sine 30 minus F F is uh, mu K F N M A. So M G sine 30 minus mu K F N is F N is M G cosine 30 is equal to M A. So you see that G and M and cancel. So G sine 30 minus mu K G cosine 30 is equal to A. So 9, 3. So these seven problem I did, I'm gonna randomly choose two problem for tomorrow. Good luck. Brought to you by brilliant.org. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.